Now to our first look at the stunning firepower Hamas used to attack Israel last week. The weapons recovered offer a sobering look at what Hamas could bring to bear to fight off an incursion. Raf Sanchez reports. Tonight, a first look at the deadly arsenal Hamas terrorists used to storm into Israel and a sign of the firefight that lies ahead. Hamas fighters burst through the border fence equipped not just to kill civilians, but also to fight off Israeli tanks and helicopters. Here, a terrorist fires a rocket-propelled grenade. We saw dozens of the same weapon today at an Israeli military base, where arms recovered from Hamas fighters are being analyzed. Rockets, mines, shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles, and a magnetic bomb that sticks to the side of a tank. They brought around 2,000 terrorists in here with hundreds of vehicles. This Israeli major spoke with us on the condition we not use his name. Does any of this indicate the direct involvement of Iran? Not yet. Most of the munition that you see here is a local produ production of Hamas. Despite Israel's strict blockade, this Hamas video shows it still makes weapons inside Gaza at factories like this. This is a thermobaric bomb which creates heat instantly up to 3,000 degrees Celsius. The Israeli military says Hamas terrorists use this to incinerate entire families. For all their weapons, Hamas is still badly outgunned. And it has no answer to Israel's overwhelming air power. But on the ground in Gaza, they'll have a home field advantage, an elaborate network of tunnels designed to allow them to pop out and ambush Israeli troops. A looming battle that promises to be brutal. And Raf, we've heard a lot about these tunnels that Hamas has dug. Does Israel have a way to deal with them? Lester, Israel has specialized sensors to detect them underground, and it uses so-called bunker buster bombs to try to take them out from the air. But some of these tunnels are nearly 100 feet deep and very difficult to destroy. of a globally impactful attack by Hamas. Israel is prioritizing the destruction of the extensive Hamas tunnel network in Gaza before launching a ground operation. Since 2007, Hamas has constructed over 1,300 tunnels. Some of these are buried as deep as 30 to 40 meters to shield militants from attacks and feature hidden rocket batteries near the surface. These tunnels act as storage for weapons, operational bunkers, command hubs, and secret transit routes for militants and their weaponry, which includes rocket launches. Additionally, some tunnels strategically connect Gaza to nearby Israeli communities, providing terrorists with a means to infiltrate, abduct, and launch attacks on Israeli civilians. In the past, Israel has attempted to eliminate some of these tunnels using other methods, such as combat engineering and the construction of an underground border wall stretching several meters to deter tunnel assaults. However, unverified accounts suggest that Israel began deploying the bunker buster munition known as the GBU-28 against these tunnels during the Gaza War of 2008-9 and continued to do so thereafter. Bunker Buster Bombs, like the Guided Bomb Unit 28, or GBU-28, operate on straightforward physics principles. 
They consist of an exceptionally sturdy, narrow tube that is also incredibly heavy. When released from an aircraft, the tube gains significant speed and, consequently, kinetic energy as it descends. In essence, the GBU-28 is a 4,637-pound bomb that packs 630 pounds of high explosives. Outfitted with GBU-27 LGB kits, this bomb measures 14.5 inches in diameter and almost 19 feet in length. The device is guided by an operator who illuminates a target with a laser designator and the munition then navigates toward the laser energy reflected from the target. The bomb also has a smart fuse which detonates the bomb once it has penetrated deeply enough to destroy the target. The GBU-28 bomb is capable of penetrating 100 feet of earth or 20 feet of concrete. Needless to say, it has a devastating effect on both Hamas's tunnel network and any area near the point of impact. It is also known that Israel requested the GBU-72 bomb, which replaces the GBU-28 from the United States in 2021. Despite the absence of official reports confirming Israel's acquisition of this weapon system, the likelihood of its use in this air campaign remains significantly high and cannot be easily dismissed. The GBU-72 was developed to overcome hardened, deeply buried target challenges. This bomb is fitted with a more durable and efficient smart electronic fuse that can activate at a pre-programmed location. Reportedly exhibiting superior performance compared to the GBU-28, the GBU-72 not only obliterates nearby objects, but also generates a shockwave capable of inducing cave-ins in subterranean structures even farther from the intended target.